Hey guys, I'm back. It's Barb. Welcome back to another B Rex, the PR Goddess One episode of the Hot Mess, the Beauty Horde, the Glamazon. Um, this evening, I am going to finish up my short video series with a quick video showing a replacement Ipsy item from add ons and what I received from Ulta. I was trying to cash in on a couple of sales and used a little bit of my points. So here we go. Oh, and before we begin the meat and potatoes, let's do the salad course, which is, thank you for finding me if you're new to my channel. Good to have you here. If you're an established viewer, I want to thank you for your continued patronage. If you are new, please feel free to click below to like, subscribe, and um, get notifications. So that way, whenever I do upload, which is erratic at best, you will be notified so long as the YouTube algorithm gods are behaving. And if you are a seasoned follower, be sure you're subscribed that the systems haven't accidentally unsubbed you. And also, be sure that you have your um, notifications on because, again, sometimes... The uh, cyber worlds are not so good to keeping on top of things like this for you. All right. Pardon my itchy eyes. It's allergy-ish with all the damp out here for the fall in the Northeast. Begin. Yes. I'm going to start with the replacement add-on. Here we go. It came in perfect condition. If you... Um, I hate um as a filler. If you had seen my Ipsy add-ons unboxing slash flash sales second chance, you would have known that I mentioned that I was I had ordered the two different Illuminati quads. One was Golden Ticket or something like that, and the other was called Lust. And this is Lust. Now my original Lust came with this shade right here, this coppery shade, shattered all over, because this one comes wrapped in its own little protective seal, and all that was in there was just loose powder. So I contacted them. They said they still had it in stock. They sent me a replacement, and here it is, all in one piece. We are very happy with the makeup gods. Oh, second bonus. I received some of the items that I had ordered from... Oh, my God, why are words escaping me today? I'm just so exhausted. Lately, it's been like that. Some of my Target items. So these were the free lashes, gift with purchase. They came in. These are the Wispy Lights. And they are number 117. I will never forgive them for discontinuing my wispy extremes. Intense. As you can tell, look at the difference. These are my favorites. The 141s. They don't make them anymore. At least not in the U.S. And I'm not spending $30 in shipping from the U.K. to get $2 lashes, $4 lashes. It's just not happening. So this is what I have to make do with for now. The 117s. They're all right. I mean, they're free. I can't complain. The other thing I received was... I'm trying the Acme Fighting Putty Primer, which has 1.8% salicylic acid. Not because I break out a lot, but when I do, I sure as hell find it irritating. So there you go. Oh, 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 last thing, last thing. I had gotten candles from their fall special scents, and I noticed that their roasted ginger and, I'm sorry, roasted chestnut and ginger scent, this is the body cream. It matches really well with the Skylar Fall Cashmere, which is roasted almond cinnamon bark and spiced ginger so since these smell very similar and i love this and i love the candle that i got in this i am now the proud owner of the body cream the bath gel and the hand the foaming hand soap are still in en route so supposedly i should have those soon sorry picking up stuff that fell in the meantime though i do have the candle and i love it it's a two wick it's like 14 bucks but they had like buy two get one free so i got that i got the apple cinnamon one which is a little too sweet but it's nice i leave it open i haven't lit it the the the, the roasted chestnut one i did and then i got the pumpkin tonka again a little too sweet but if you leave the lid open it just does a nice room of fragrance it's not overpowering i will probably eventually light them but just not yet and anyway there we go. That's the side stuff that you didn't even know you were here for. And here we are. So, back to basics. Let me pick up the box of goodies. <laughs> See, so what they do over at Ulta Online is that they sometimes mark things with special prices that end in like 49 or 97 And when that should happen, alert and beware. Because that means that this item that you've been looking at is now going to be either discontinued from the manufacturer or... Ulta's not going to carry it anymore. I'm sorry. There's bubble wrap. It's been that kind of day. I got a bubble wrap pop. 
Yeah, bring it, baby. Yeah. So there were a couple of things I had looked at. Now, here's a weird thing. Something waxy is like kind of all over the outside of my stuff. So I got to wipe it all down. So I'm not putting it out yet. But yeah, so I got obviously some nail polish. I like their Miracle Gel One Step Color. And this one is called Hala Graham. And this is kind of like a Think Max Blue Brown Pigment. It's that kind of duochrome. I have an eyeshadow that matches that. It's going to be great. Then I got the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, which is their like less expensive line. And the shade is called Iris Illusion. And it's supposed to be slightly iridescent as well. So that'll be pretty as well. Next thing they were discontinuing. It's all gooey. I don't know what the hell these people had on their hands. It's like waxy, like candle goop. Anyway, it was the Makeup Revolution shadow palettes, the little nine panners that look kind of like the Huda Beauty ones. This is supposed to be the neon green. I don't see anything really that green. I see uh, a chartreuse in the middle and then a green right over here by the end. The rest, they're all complementary or coordinating shades. You've got your browns, your blues, your yellows. But for $3.99, I was like, why the hell not? They had another one that was supposed to be an orange, and it didn't really, like, thrill me. You get the idea. They had these blush and powder. Are these blush doers or blush and powder, like, bronzer doers? I don't remember if there was supposed to be two blushes or a blush and a bronzer, but these are the Dynamic Face Palettes. They have the same like little metal tins that are colorful with these little sleeves that their forever eyeshadow palettes have. This is the one for medium skin called Peach Heat. And it just says Dynamic Face Palette. And they open the same way and they still have a little mirror. And so here I've got, to me it definitely looks like two blushes, but this shade here that's matte could probably be kind of like a bronzer. And this shade is just so friggin' stunning. I mean, who needs NARS Deep Throat or NARS orgasm when you have that. $4.49. I'd been stalking it. I was not paying $8.50 for it. $4.49? Yeah, you're worth my points. Take my points! Next thing. I kind of like these bigger palettes from LA Girl. So this is the Desert Dream VIP. And then this one is Pro Mastery. I'll show you what they look like inside. They're usually like $17.99 or something like that. I've been stalking them. I have one when it went on sale, I think for $14. Well, these were on sale for $12.97. So you know what that meant. Barb had to buy them. So definitely feeling the golds and these nice shimmeries. Again, still looking for my perfect red. This one has a little bit more pink. It reads more like a watermelon. And obviously it has its plastic cover over it. But generally, not too shabby. Big pans, not bad for 12 and change. I have the, the one that, this is the one with the pink case. I have the one that's the light green case. And then this one is like a pale pink um, the one that I really want to go back for that's also on sale, but I just don't have enough points right this minute is, um, it's like smoky nudes has a bright green. It's more of a dark colored case. I don't remember brown tan sandal, whatever. And why is this little mofo deciding to be a brat? He don't want to open now. Don't make a fool out of me. Come on now. It's that weird waxy shit. There we go. So this one is definitely more like berries. I love this darker shade. It's like a little gold, a little brown. These almost look like frosty taupes. And a nice nude peach, but not too much white. Because that's the problem with peach. If you put too much white in it, it skews too chalky on medium to dark skin. Like me. So yeah, not bad for $12.97. After that, they were doing 40, buy one, get one 40% off for Pacifica. So this right here, um, for their bath. This is their natural raw material perfume. This is vanilla stardust called Cosmosis. And the scent is supposed to be resinous, creamy, deep vanilla with ash and cold, sparkling, ozonic top notes. Nighttime stars. The description sounds odd. I like spicy, earthy kind of perfumes. Can't do a lot of flowery. It smells weird. When I smelled this in person, I loved it. I bought the body spray, but they were out of the perfume then. So I went back and bought the... That was in the store, if you saw my in-store haul. The one that was from the exchange yeah but that's why i went back for that one online because they didn't have it while it was there and then this was the last big thing another makeup revolution and this one used to be 25 bucks this is the forever limitless neon heat and of course they always tell you what the shades are in the back although in this case it's lots of numbers so i'm not sure if they're supposed to be names with numbers but i don't think so and it opens the same way so it's that little metallic and it has a big mirror but look at those colors. Yeah, lots of fun. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun. I'm going to coat myself like Cindy Lauper.
had sex with a peacock. I know she wouldn't do that, but I always imagine if a peacock had a human child, it would be her. So there we go. So that is everything I got from Ulta. Other than that, thank you for stopping by. Stay healthy, stay happy, be the kindness you wish to see in the world, and just learn to let all the negative go and just keep on trucking. Other than that, I ain't got anything else for you tonight, so I'm going to go scrounge some dinner. I think I hear my husband home. Peace out, peeps. Creepy chow kiss, and um, let's get through this together. Catch you next time.